Like, did he then, stay still the whole time? Uh, he did. Grandma came and picked him up. Now, Grandma believes in that old school justice, so, you know. What, that five-finger justice? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I, for some reason, I feel quieter. Like, I'm talking into the back of my microphone, but... You shouldn't be. Maybe I'm just... Uh, w- would you wiggle my headphone connector I maybe a little bit? I will wiggle your just connector, see, yes. Just I don't know which see, one is uh, yours, but... Um, check, 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 check. Oh, there it is. Yep. Was that it? There we go. Okay, cool. Fixed Mine might have been doing it too. I was definitely fucking around with that stuff, so that makes sense that yeah. they, they got jostled a little bit. Uh, jostled. Cool. That's off. That's off. Those are recording. All right, dude. I think we're... Uh, the monitors are down. I can hear the headphones. Hear That's headphones. going. The camera's going. Lights are not green. They're blue, but it looks really nice back there. I got to say. I got to say. You know what? Let me roll back. You go ahead and click us in here. Welcome back. Yeah. 307 Ranch. There we go. Uh, We're sitting here at Tom McDonald's new one, and I'm looking at the first frame, and we have gold bars and stacks of money just piled all around the White House. I didn't even notice, dude. It really is gold bars and stacks of money, isn't it? Yeah. (laughs) And he's in... I, this is very reminiscent for me of the first interaction I had with Tom McDonald yes. because the first one I had, Wait, I can't the hell is he wearing? remember what video it was, but he was wearing a full-on uh, Louis Vuitton suit or something like that, track suit or something like I think it was Louis um, Vuitton. Um, it was a Gucci suit. It was a Gucci, sure, well, yeah. yeah, one of those. And, uh, yeah, he was kind of sitting in the same pose where he was kind of yeah. like. And uh, that also, I, I kind of got some uh, some inspiration from that as far as, like, how independent artists do it too because, mm-hmm. like, there's no intro for his songs. There's no mm. media corporation advertisement at the beginning. There's no, per, you know, in in, corpor- in, yeah. in you know, in correspondence with this company. Or, Brought you know, to you by. There's none ba, of that. Ba, ba. It doesn't even have like a like, quick yeah. logo. It just he puts the first frame of the song up, and that's where the video starts. Yeah, that's the independent life for you, man. It's it's pretty cool. It's it's it definitely is. a unique thing to his videos. Like, and I guess some other independent artists mm. in that in that kind of ring do the same yeah. kind of thing. So, but I like I like seeing it. So, yeah. what do you know about it? Anything? Uh, I know from the little bit Tom has been promoting on Instagram, uh, the song is about basically how, um, government, how government and corporations and big pharma and stuff. The only reason they do the things they do is for money. Sure. So yeah. it's all mm-hmm. dirty money. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. So, well, yeah. like, comment, subscribe. We're just trying to get a bunch of subscribers this year. We're hoping to get to 50K, but it doesn't matter. We're just trying to make the number go up. So if you hit yep. that subscribe button, that's all we're asking. Uh, it does, you know, costs you nothing and does everything for us. If you want to go a step further, there's a Patreon link down there. There are affiliate links for sweetwater.com. There is a PayPal link where you can just send us money directly if you want to. We're not yeah. asking for any of that. Just smash that subscribe button. And, and by the, the way, if you haven't there. checked it out, if you go to our channel and hit the live section where you can see our past live streams, uh, we were just live with Pappy D last weekend. Yeah. We had a great time. Um, to be honest with you, we're recording this before that live. So I don't know how the reaction <laughs> went or not. Um, it went so great. We, 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 we know it If went we great. were even able to do it. But we had a damn good time. So be sure to go check it out. All right, let's get into this. Here we go. They're angry that they'll never shut me up. I'm making more noise. Turn me up or turn me down. It's your choice. Black lives only matter when they got a corpse to exploit. Because the Ooh. media made millions off the protests for George Floyd. That's called ad revenue. They make cash selling you all the crap in the ads where they broadcast news. Ooh, the network full of liars got investment capital in segments sponsored by Pfizer and the Freedom Fighters. I feel like the left just plans them to infiltrate the right. It's extensive planning. It- I, I didn't want to stop early, but like, we're, we're we kind of have to. Like, we're. <laughs> Okay. Holy shit. Right here. This is a perfect place to stop because this is yeah. where he was talking about ad revenue. You know, like yeah. they, they make money by broadcasting you, you know, like mm-hmm. and then play their little snippets in between. And it's funny because uh, I, I don't know for sure, but uh, is Tom monetized on YouTube? Does he do the monetization thing? I, I, I have no I'm not idea. 100% I've, sure if he is. Here's but. the thing. I've never seen. Well, it's hard to say because, for instance, X Order, right? Yeah. If you guys haven't seen our Freebird cover, he was the guy that played bass on that like a fucking boss. Anyway. One of uh, the craziest bass players slash musicians I've ever seen. If I watch a video on his YouTube and I know he's not monetized, but I'll still see ads. You still see an ad. So 
you can't really go by that. I guess you're right. So I guess only really the creator knows. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're but. right. It's just it's just funny he mentioned that, you know, and I'm sitting over here like, yeah, that's, you know, we're we we do the, we go through the ad rev thing like we literally just got blocked from ad rev because we t- uploaded something from ABC or NBC that mm-hmm. had some of their programmed music in it and then uh, we got blocked they didn't for like it. that. Yeah, so I just think I just think it's funny. But yeah. like in talking to people too, you know, it's not we don't we don't rely on it. Like yeah. I, I've talked to people about how how it's going, you know, and we always get the question like oh we're well, you're, you're at 30,000 subscribers how much you making how much, how much making that's always the question how much making i always i always just like, like not enough to live on i still have nice i bonus. still have a job so clearly yeah. not as much as my job you know and so <laughs> so until i until you see me not working at a job and and even then like we've talked about it, i don't know if i would i don't think it's reliable to to have to rely on ad rev because yeah. it's it's such a volatile thing that like any day youtube could just be like yeah we're shutting it down yeah and then you don't have any money you know and people yep. people get shadow banned all the time and stuff so mm-hmm. it's a it's a crazy crazy it thing is. out there man but a lot of people like a lot of these creators are relying on ad rev oh, man, man. <laughs> right, brave souls brave souls very brave souls man um but yeah I, I love the uh he talks about black lives only matter when they have a corpse to exploit which mm-hmm. a in Adam Calhoun has said it over and over and over again. Uh, he, he's like, "Black Lives Matter when it's a when it's a white guy shooting a black guy, right?" He goes sure. the 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 black on black crime in Chicago and Detroit, and um, you know, there's several. I know there was Shit, some down in LA, Miami like, and L.A. and uh, you know, in parts of Dallas yeah, and Houston. Definitely, and stuff. yep. He's like, the news doesn't care about that because that's that doesn't fit the that doesn't fit the narrative. That yeah, that's yeah. They they want to make it dramatic. They want to yeah. they want to make people pick a side. You know, yeah. pick, pick a side, do the um, thing. But then but then he said, and then you'll have commercials sponsored by Pfizer, which <laughs> it was funny to me because we're at work listening to Pandora, and there comes on this commercial. They play this light airy music with birds in the background. You know, and it's. Hey, you know, I'd like to go see Grandma. Well, we got to make sure we're up on our boosters. Oh, blah, blah, I blah, have blah, blah, heard blah, that. Blah, yep. right? I've heard and that. And it's all commercial. like, oh, the family's all, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> we're going to go see Grandma because we're boosted. Because we, we got right? our shots, you know. And then it's like sponsored by Pfizer. I'm like, why, why is a, pharma- a pharmaceutical company sponsoring ads? Why are they running ads? If the medicine is necessary, if people need it. If it's absolutely needed, you shouldn't need to advertise for it. You shouldn't it, right? have to advertise. That's like, a good point. Do you ever? Well, it's I, never going to be that way. I was, but that's a good. That's a good I was going to say, do you ever see ads for hospitals? Well, now you do because they have different hospitals competing right, yeah, against yeah. each other. But there's a there's a hosp- there's an ad for a hospital outside of one of our hospitals downtown for the one yeah. across town. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like huh? okay, whatever. I think they both t- will take care of you. So yeah, uh, but yeah, interesting. Just a lot of a lot of interesting stuff. Yeah, that, that he's saying. Yeah, yeah. Shall we? Let's go. All right. As news, ooh, the network full of liars got investment capital and segment sponsored by Pfizer and the freedom fighters. I feel like the left just plans them to infiltrate the right. It's extensive planning. Then it happens overnight. It's impressive branding. Make a million off a shirts that say, let's go branding. It's a cash grab. Everyone's a lab rat. Amazon made billions of dollars from sanitizer and black mass. And that's that. Funny how the terrorists who have tag always come from places that are oil rich and have gas. Democrats, they don't give a damn. What is this about? Our military trapped in the Middle East. Can't get them out. Heroes are the ones who had the con. Whoa. All right. I caught a line there <laughs> where he says, uh, it's funny how terrorists are always coming from countries that are rich in, in oil and, and gas, right? Mm. Cra- that that made me think for a second. It's like, oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, it was rich in oil and gas. Hang on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Yeah. A, a lot of people think that uh, a person can't be a terrorist if they're from America for some reason. And it's like, no, nah, they, they still exist here, too. And, and like, it's it's ironic because, you know, like we're we're after the we're after the world's the world's oil and stuff like. And it's like, well, we need an excuse to go over there and take all the oil from them. So let's let's make up this terrorist thing. I, I, I don't know, man. It's yeah. there, there's just it was just like a crazy like this. Oh, yeah. OK. And and then you brought up 
I guess yeah. I mean, not not all terrorists are are from are just for, from, from foreign the soil. East yeah, or, they're not all from yeah. Iraq and Iran. You know, like uh, yeah, there, there's terrorists in America. I mean, uh, what, some of them might be wasn't there in the just White a House just a crazy ass shooting that happened like today? I mean, I know it's I know that's the shooting thing is old news, but like uh, I'm pretty sure there was another mass shooting they were talking about today. Well, now, today I, is I saw May first for anyone that's it wasn't watching a this mass shooting, but there was. Uh, they, they haven't released much details, but in Cheyenne, there was some lady who got shot in the face at a park. That's what and, I heard. And uh, she's still alive. She's in, in critical, critical condition. condition yeah, but, but she's alive. Dude, yeah. wild, man. And, They're like, wild. people just rampaging through. And, yeah, these aren't these aren't foreigners that are coming through here. A lot of them are just citizens that are just uh, doing crazy shit. I, yeah. I, don't, I don't know, man. Those, yeah. here in those, and, and, I mean, I guess technically that guy wouldn't be a terrorist. But, no, not not that case right. per se, but, like, yeah. but, but like you know. There's wild shit going on everywhere, though. People that are going through and, like, mowing down crowds of people and vehicles mm. and stuff. And, like, we're, when all that George Floyd stuff was going on, dude, and people were literally just running over people in the streets, man. Like, yeah. that's terrorism. That's an act <laughs> yeah. of terrorism. Absolutely. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Not to mention potential homicide, you know, whatever, right. whatever like, manslaughter, all, all the other tags you want to put on the thing. Like, good Lord. Anyways, let's go back. Damn, what is this about? Our military trapped in the Middle East, can't get them out. Heroes are the ones who had the Constitution written down. Y'all are using hero while describing Kyle Rittenhouse. One cent, two cent, three cents, four. We get less and they get more. By insult since we were born, they want more. Okay, I like that. They make profit solving problems. They create to keep us down. Dirty money. Dirty money. I don't want your dirty money. They might kill me for the song. It's all classified intelligence. Don't need to go to war to secretly be getting benefits. When Russia launches rockets, we condemn them, but there's evidence a US politician owns the screws they're assembled with. Mm. Ain't no war on drugs, it's economic. You make money off an inmate. Every jail cell is profit. Our prisons are privately owned. Illegal marijuana just mean kids smoking weed turn the dollars in their pockets. Let's be honest. Domestic threats in comparison to nuclear powers who hate the West is embarrassing. He said something so long ago that I wanted to comment on, and it's been it's so I far to gone know now. Who that did the metal oh, scream? Oh, I was gonna ask was you sick. who did the what? The metal scream in the chorus. I didn't even I wasn't we even paying attention war. to it. I was like, oh. Um, what are you? What's your take on the Kyle Rittenhouse thing? Uh, well, he didn't say Rittenhouse. He said Wittenhouse. Oh, Wittenhouse. Was that Which, what it was? I, I sorry, I, I, I don't mean, know names. His I'm, name is Kyle Rittenhouse. Is it? But I I don't I don't necessarily understand that particular line. Okay. Um, but uh, you know whole, he is Canadian. Maybe we, maybe I just mis un, misunderstood him. I I don't know. Maybe he just has a. He'd been here long enough. He's American. <laughs> fair enough. Uh, fair enough. The uh, hey, Kyle Rittenhouse was that guy who uh went to court because they they were trying to convict him of murder when he was attacked by three dudes at a protest. Beat up with a skateboard or something, yeah, right? Yeah, he shot him. Yeah. Um, which, you know, people were calling him a hero. I I don't necessarily... I, I kind of see what he's saying where, if he is referring to that incident. Sure, yeah. He's like, you know, there's soldiers fighting for their lives overseas and we still can't get them back. And they're just kind of, they're left to survive. And uh, the government will figure it out when they figure it out, I guess. Um, he goes, but those guys are heroes, but everybody's calling Kyle Rittenhouse a hero, which... It it's 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 one of those things where he had to do what he had to do to survive. But does that make him a hero or somebody who survived something tragic? Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, they're they're like like someone who survived like those. You know, you they had that TV show a while ago. I don't know if it's still on, but it's like um, I shouldn't be alive or something oh, like yeah. that. You know, where you you hear these harrowing experiences yeah. from people where it's like lost my out in the woods and god shit. dude yeah. or yeah they're getting attacked by a shark in the ocean yeah. or something like the, the scariest you know mm. i i was uh, my drove my car into the water and was trapped inside of it and couldn't get out while you know like uh, dude yeah. you hear the most terrifying horrible things and it's like but but here's the thing does that make them a i hero? don't think any of those people have ever been a hero yeah. for those situations right yeah. like survived or not survived i don't think they've ever been considered a hero it's just mm. a super I, crazy unfortunate thing like super uh, uh traumatic thing that, that yeah. happened that you just kind of like you're lucky that you're still alive from it you yeah. know i don't know if that makes you a hero yeah and you know and and, and i think that's kind of what he's pointing at is like I the word that. hero is so you know is is uh Dylan Mulvaney, a hero for being a man, and now he's a woman. Well, I I don't think so. Didn't that I don't start that whole did. thing start with uh, 
What's the what's the who's the Bruce Jenner? Well, I guess it's not Bruce. Well, Jenner. They, they they've been doing that for. I mean, you go back in history. But that's what that's the thing. They they were calling him right. a hero, right? For for doing oh, that. Oh yeah. For, for doing it's, the sex change and being brave and all that, or whatever the hell that, that thing is. I mean, it, sure. I, like, I don't think you're you, a hero. I think a sh- if you want to advocate it and say that you know it's okay to come out about this and like do yeah. the thing, that's fine. That's like yeah. you know that's cool. But like, I don't think it makes you a hero for anything. I I, I think what. Okay, so. Let's let's take a look here. Let's take let's take a little dive here. We're going to uh, to see what the definition of hero is, okay? And then uh, <laughs> Okay. A person uh, who is admired or idolized for courage, outstanding achievements or noble qualities. And then the example it uses is a war hero. Um <sighs> So I courage could be, I guess, courage is a pretty general term that it's kind of like an umbrella term that could that could like encapsulate all the things we were talking mm-hmm. about. You know, you got to be courageous to be able to now, fight your way out of a, an animal attack or like, now, you know. Now, if you were to say Bruce Jenner is my hero, then that would be somebody you admire or idolize. OK. Right? Yeah. But so, saying calling them a hero, calling them a hero wouldn't necessarily they've, they've done some because like. I, I'm sorry. Is transitioning from a man to a woman an outstanding achievement? Do, does see it, that's the, that's where I stand on it. I'm like, like, I think it's fine if you want does, to advocate does it that. Exhibit and, noble and qualities. Live I, your life. I don't know. I don't think so. I, I think it's I think it's fine to be honest with yourself, and if that's what you want to do, I mean, it's your body, it's your choice, man. Do your thing. But like, I don't think it makes you a hero. <laughs> uh, so here, so here's another uh, definition, right? Um, a hero. Uh, let me see. It defines hero as a person of distinguished courage or ability, admired for his or her brave deeds and noble qualities. Yeah, it's kind so, of the, it falls in line with the first definition. Yeah. Like it, I don't. Yeah, yeah. I I, I think it's. I, I think it's a word that's way overused. These I think days. it's very humbling when you survive experiences like that, and it it kind of gives you a perspective on your life and how fragile your life actually is. You know, mm-hmm. like I've been in situations before. I almost drowned in the river a few years back. I literally almost drowned. I was stuck under a tree. It was like I'll never forget that. Right, but I don't think I'm a hero for being able to swim out of that. I think I'm lucky as fuck, and like, <laughs> right, and right. I'm very thankful that I'm still here. Uh, but I don't think it makes me a yeah. hero. You know, I I think what at least for me, defines a hero is someone who's willing, who knows the risk and puts their life on the line in order to achieve a higher purpose. And that, that makes sense. And that's all part of the noble qualities. That's the, the part of, uh, you know, it, throwing, casting aside the fear of these could be the consequences of my actions, yeah. but I have to do this thing that's where the courage comes in there's there's being like, brave there's being courageous yeah. and then there's being a hero and i think those there's definitely some separation between those terms you know yeah. and they, they sometimes i think they cross lines every every now and yeah. then so but regardless what do you guys think what yeah, who's your hero what, what what's a hero to you let us know in the mm-hmm. comments section while you're down there hit that subscribe button let's keep going Still we label truckers in the convoy as terrorists and confiscate donations. We have no idea where it is. A pipeline leaks, price of gas goes higher. Stock market crash, everybody gets fired. Economy is weak while we trying to beat a virus. One trillion dollars in debt to China. We celebrate the smallest battles we're winning so they can publish the headline that's going to fuel the vision. But if we champion the crumbs, then it's crumbs that we're giving. And we don't make any progress. We're stuck at the beginning. One cent, two cent, three cents, four. We get less and they get more. Insult since we were born, they want money. We want dirty more. dollars, fill their that, pockets. That, while okay. our coffins fill the ground. Okay. They make profits, solving problems they create to keep us down. Dirty money, dirty money. I don't want your dirty money. Money, 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 money. Not enough soap to scrub, it's soaked in blood. It's all about the money. Time we make a buck, they take from us. It's all about the money, 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 money. The dollar runs our lives until we die. It's all about the money, 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 money. It controls your mind and it controls it mind. Dirty dollars fill their pockets while our coffins fill the ground. They make profits, solving problems they create to keep us down.
Shout out to Nova and Jared. Bravo, gang. Bravo. Yeah. That was very well done. Um, there, dude, there's so much to dissect in that, oh, as there so normally much. is yeah. with Tom McDonald stuff. Um, right at the end there, I was kind of like trying to like reflect on everything that he mm-hmm. talked about. And uh, I remember him talking about, you know, like, um, Rush, you know, Russians are, are, are building these missiles or whatever, but the screws that they, we get worried about Russians building missiles, but the screws that are, that are using, that we're, they're using to build them are supplied by some American who owns the company yeah. that's supplying the screws, you know? Well, and, it, and, and what's, what's the bolts, great, the screws, nuts, whatever. If you guys go to the Backwoods Logan podcast on YouTube and look at his live section, we went live with him a couple weeks ago. Yep. And he was part of a crew when he was in the Navy that overtook a uh, ship who was carrying illegal weapons for the Middle East. And wouldn't you know, there are 50 caliber BMGs on there, which is an American weapon. Uh, they had some AR-15s on there, which is an American uh, weapon. Yeah, I, the, that like, was the one was that I saw American was the weapons AR-15s. On there. I was like, those are definitely like, American weapons. How did they get those? Like, wait a second. Where uh-huh. where did those come from? Yeah, and you know, could be very well could be counterfeit AR-15 stuff. That could all be counterfeit shit. We didn't get a real good I, perspective on it. But again, who know? I don't actually know. I, that's a lot. I don't know. Of AR-15s. If, I don't know if Logan actually knows. You know, like yeah. I don't know if he actually he was he was there doing the thing. But does he know what? Th- he doesn't know the conversations that were happening yeah. at the top. You know, like he was just doing the job he was mm. assigned to do. And yeah, anything past that, it, it's none of his business, right? Like yeah. I don't. They need to take a picture of this, so we're going to spend three days organizing all these weapons on the front of the ship mm-hmm. and so we can get an aerial photo of it from the bridge. And then yeah. that's, you and, know. And what's great is there was Chinese weapons on there too, Russian weapons. A majority of them were Chinese and Russian, um, which were all being sent to the Middle East. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, find, and find that really the interesting. The boat that they found these guns on, all of these weapons... Oh God! You could almost fit the boat in this room. It doesn't like, even it make it doesn't even make sense. <laughs> there were so Help. many goddamn weapons. I got to give it thing. to the guys for their ingenuity on how to keep that boat floating with all that weight on there because oh, I God. don't get it. I don't understand I don't it. How'd they do it? What they there was a, was there a whale underneath the boat that was just like just keeping just it keeping up, it floating? Like, <laughs> like how are they? They were there was feeding it fish every now and then, keeping it going. I don't know. But anyways, man, I, I'll say th- those guys in the Middle East are resourceful. Uh, like it, we reacted to a the, video of some guys making some brake pads, right? <laughs> But imagine those guys making AR. 15s. Resourceful like, is I a, don't think is a very very uh, democratic term for you to use on that. <laughs> resourceful. Yeah. Yes. Uh, that, that, that was you know that's that's yeah I I don't even I don't even know how do you make I, I don't even know how to make a gun in the first place like I know you need I know you need metal and things like that but like I don't know how to I mean God you have gas tubes and buffer tubes and. I mean, I, I, actions and, and it's all got to be and, like hardened steel, right? Because it heats oh, yeah. up to a billion degrees in one second. So it's all got to be mm-hmm. like the right kind of stuff. It's got to be molded right. And I, I, have, I literally yeah. have no idea. Um, yeah, but my, I, I assume it's probably a similar my, process to making brake pads over there, dude. Like, I man, just compressed bunch dust of hot and shit. Carbon, in, <laughs> like, good just to a go. bunch of hot shit melting in a vat, yeah. pretty much in every room. And there's a guy slamming stuff down, and then. Some guys painting shit, and then before you know it, it comes out in a box, and you're yeah. like, "I'd probably buy that if I saw it on the shelf, dude." <laughs> Diamond brake pads, whatever the hell those things were, I, yeah. crazy. I don't that know. That was wild, man. Uh, but yeah, no, he he points out a lot of good stuff, and I mean the the fact that when we pulled out of Afghanistan, that we left so much shit there. Yeah, is, we that's pretty much what we did, right? We just kind of like yeah. up and out. Like we're not shipping anything back. You just yep. take all, take all whatever. They, uh, they reverse engineered a lot of that shit, right? Uh, no, they just took it and used or just it. took it they, and was they, like, they just took it and fixed it. Is all they did, because they they were supposed to compromise the helicopters and tanks and yeah, Humvees and yeah. whatever else. Um, which I mean, I, in anybody who knows anything, right? If you're trying to compromise something in a hurry, you're probably looking at. Oh, you know, for the tanks, we're just going to take, like, six bolts out of the tracks. Like, okay, yeah, good luck running that around. Yeah. Or take some bolts out for the for the gun that actually loads the shells. Yeah. They can find a bolt, and if they can't, they'll stick a They'll stick figure in something out, dude. They absolutely work, will, man. Right? We've seen some crazy shit. They had, uh, they had a video of uh, they got one of the helicopters flying, one of the <sighs> Taliban, and they fucking did not know what the hell. They crashed it into a building, <laughs> fucked it all up. Of course, up. yeah, of course. But they, that's the thing is they got it off the ground. They figured it they out. Did. So, like, they now got all they got to do is improve on that design for the next one that, that we left over there. Yep. You know, like... 
crazy. It's and wild, there's man. see, we could go back through this and watch it again and get stuck on another topic in this mm. and probably talk about that for another twenty minutes. Go back through, watch it again, stuck on another oh, topic, yeah. twenty minutes. We could turn this into like a two hour long review for oh, this for sure. because of how much he can pack into one yeah. song. But he has uh he has a really good point in that you know, most money is just dirty money. Even the money yeah. in your pocket, you know, isn't necessarily controlled by you. It is mm-hmm. it is momentarily, but the second you pay for something or the second, you know, you put it in a bank or something like that, it's not necessarily mm-hmm. controlled by you anymore. It takes yeah. off and goes to the next, you know, the next person yeah. above you who gets to control it. Um, yeah, crazy, dude. Yeah. And you don't think about that stuff until someone points it out. And yeah. then those little those little tidbits well, of information, it's like, and yeah, the, they're, they're building missiles over there and we're really scared about it. But it's like, are we actually, though? Because someone's making a ton of money over here on that. Oh, yeah. Like, kind of yeah. kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah a- anytime there's war, we make a ton of money on Tons oil. of money, yeah. I mean, we don't. We're at the bottom. We paying for it. Yeah, but, well, yeah. We, um, yeah. <laughs> it's It's... It's I, and the other thing he said is they create things to, like like the whole pandemic shutting things down and putting us into a recession and you know mm-hmm. the economy mm-hmm. lost all sorts of money. Well, then when we came back, everything was so much more expensive, which means we pay more tax on it and they make more money off of a bad situation and we just get stuck in a bad situation. So what do you guys pay for milk? We're at like almost five dollars a gallon. And yeah. I know we're on the cheap end of the scale for most things. For most milk, like milk is more expensive than gas for the first time it's in a while. Crazy! I can't believe yeah. it. And I drink a shitload of milk, so I'm a little bit upset about it, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, yeah, 20, uh, 2019, people were definitely warning about that. Well, yep. we'll see what you think with these with these. Uh, what did they call them? The the checks that, that they sent out these freedom oh, the, freedom checks or whatever the hell yeah, they were the stimulus checks. That's what it was. Uh, they were like, we'll see about the you know how how happy you are about that when milk's five dollars a gallon in two years and everyone was like, oh, it's not gonna happen. Mm-hmm. I went literally Albertsons yesterday. I'm pretty sure milk is yeah. f- four dollars a gallon. I think which is yeah. the highest it's ever been here. I just put gas in my motorcycle for uh, three ten. So that's you know that's expensive for around here, man. Our yeah. gas does not normally get up there. So, but, anyways, well, yeah. if you guys enjoyed this episode as much as we did, be sure to leave a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, click the bell, become part of the notification, notification gang. gang, and we'll see y'all next time. Bow. <laughs>